okay, now my shooting day is finished. All the data are on the master lock kit. I have also all my video clips ready uh, for backup and for preparation to post-production. Uh, I still need to extract the lens data from the master lock kit and link them to my video clips. And this is quite easy. The only thing I need to do is give my master lock kit plus to the DIT. Uh, he will connect the master lock kit plus um, to uh, the Mac using the Wi-Fi. And uh, then he will use Silverstack to extract the data. So how we do this is first start with the standard, let's say, offload procedure for video files that anyway your DIT would do, uh, meaning loading the, the uh, video clips uh, from the media into Silverstack. This is a procedure you would anyway do uh, to um, back up your files. And then once this is done, we will import all the data that are on the master locket plus using the import, import CP3XD lens data from master locket plus. As you see, Silverstack found data that correspond to the video files that I have uh, offloaded on Silverstack. I just need to clip on apply lens data. Now the data are in Silverstack. And now in order to prepare the files for my post-production, I just need uh, to export the size lens correction files, which is a standard procedure no matter um, what camera um, you use. I will export lens correction files and I will place them in a directory near the video clips. Here I chose offload MLP as directory. Um, I will create a folder ZLCF and I will save all the data uh, inside this folder. Now the last thing to do is simply transfer this directory where my ZLCF files are and the video files. I just need to ship this directory uh, to uh, my post-production, to my VFX department, and then they will be able to use the size lens correction files together with our size plugin in order to apply or correct characteristic of the lens on the video clips. That's it for today. Uh, thank you for following our size extended data tutorials.